welcome back. It is a Tuesday afternoon and I've started this vlog a little vlog a little bit later today. Um, I can't remember if I started one this morning, but all I've done, to be honest, is sit at my desk and work. And so it hasn't been very interesting. I did have a little conversation with my brother earlier on, on um, FaceTime, so I will insert that clip here. I'm just FaceTiming with my brother and he's showing me my mum's Christmas or our mum's Christmas Eve box. What's that? Socks? Yeah, socks and little bags, and little Rudolph socks. Oh. And some little Christmas pajamas. Oh, oh, they're nice. Where are they from? Where are they from, Gareth? Oh, Primark. Oh, I love those. I thought they were sweet. That's so nice. You got a size medium? They're all one size. Oh, okay. So everything's medium. Okay. I'm just vlogging you. Say hello to everyone. Why do, why do we not have to worry about showing mum's presence on our YouTube videos? She doesn't watch them. She doesn't watch our videos. <laughs> oh. If she did, do you know what she would say? What? I've been there. Oh, I haven't been there. <laughs> and um, that's been about it. I filmed a video. I've edited two. I've scheduled. I've got blog posts scheduled for the rest of the week. So um, it's been really, really busy, but we're just about to take a break. Um, I'm not doing very well at showing you what I've got in my hand. Does that look familiar? We are going to go and grab a Starbucks. We haven't been to Starbucks for ages. And I just feel like I need to get out of the house. Um, I think I've been in the house now since I took Holly back to uni on Saturday, on Sunday. That's the only time I left the house on Sunday. And Saturday I nipped to co-op and that's been it. I'm not very good at getting out of the house. So um, I feel like I need to get out. We're gonna go and grab a coffee. I'm working really long days at the moment. It's kit packing time. And yesterday I worked from seven in the morning until half nine at night. And today is gonna to be another long day. I'm gonna grab a coffee. I just need to have an escape from work, which is where the Disney planning comes in. What's your escape from work? What do you like to do? Are you a Disney trip planner as well? I think for me, it is just pure escapism. I love the planning, but it gives me a break from work, especially when you work from home as well. It is very, very difficult to take a break from home, uh, from work even. Anyway, you can find me on Instagram. I'm lollipop, no I'm not. You can find me on Instagram, I'm the funky fairy, which is my personal account with all my home stuff, Disney stuff, all that kind of thing. And lollipop box club is my creative account with all my scrapbooking and all that kind of fun stuff. Oh, it's cold and wet, 10 degrees, but it feels so much colder. The Starbucks looks lovely and empty. We've got our grande lattes, there's, no decaf today so it's we're going to be buzzing later i've gone for a cranberry muffin with a bit of a cheesecakey thingy oops and aid's got triple chocolate and i've got both trip journals out planners as as you know there's two trips next year september and the one on our own I've got loads of cheesy stuff in the middle of mine have you got chocolate stuff yeah, in the middle of yours chocolate on each side on it. have you yeah, mine's too big. We had a really nice coffee. Uh, we always go for decaf, um, but they didn't have any. And although it was nice, it's just we just find it stronger and a bit bitter. Aid's just had a bit of a coughing fit and hurt his head. Oh, it's back up again. It was all over to one side. He couldn't move it. <laughs> We've been <laughs> trip planning. Wait, I did find it funny. Um, we've been trip planning. We have an itinerary for our solo trip. That's done. It's really bizarre just planning six days. And there's a lot to squeeze in as well. But we've been looking at our September trip as well now, just having an idea of like what we want to do. Do you know what's really exciting? Do you use touring plans? Let me know if you do. I love touring plans. Sorry, babe. I think I've used touring plans now since 2010. And it basically, it works on previous years um, statistics and it just takes loads of different things into consideration, like what parks are open earlier and later, extra magic hours and all that kind of thing. And it gives you a rough estimate and it's very, very close. And it's actually showing ones and twos out of 10 nearly every single day for our trip. So that's very, very exciting. Um, so hopefully it won't be too busy. We are obviously going out of school hours, so that really helps. Um, I've forgotten what I was going to say now. So we've just been looking at that kind of thing. Uh, just going on a road, we're nearly home. And um, we passed, they're actually, they do a lot of film 
filming for movies down here. We had Jurassic World filmed actually in the woods just on the right hand side. Nutcracker. The Nutcracker was filmed over here. Which is on Sky at the moment. Yeah, it's on Sky at the moment. But um, something's being filmed at the moment. There was a Mark Wahlberg movie um, just recently. And then all the signs get taken down. We recognise the signs now. And then they've come down. We've got other ones back up again, but I'll show you in a moment. But they were filming the other night when we went past. It's all in, like in the woodlands. They were filming the other night. They had security on the little walkway into the woodland. And you could see all the floodlights in the woods. But I'll show you just as we go past. All right, so you can see, look, you've got security out there. And we get these little, like, pink you, badges. You can see on to the left, you'll see all the trailers in there mm. as well. If you catch as we go past. Yeah, let's have a look. See, that's one of the big houses there. Yeah, you can see, like, stuff all going in there. And there's usually nothing in there. Oh, there's the stuff going on there. CPF, it says on there. Yeah, they have different codes, codes, though, for different, different movies, things. don't they? Um, yeah, what else have we had filmed? The Avengers has been filmed around here. We've had Harry Potter's film nearby. Um, loads of stuff, don't we? Yeah, it's quite a lot, really. Um, yeah. I guess we're not too far from the studios and all that kind of thing. And this is the woodland along here. So we used to walk in here a lot when the kids were little. And it's just literally, what, not even a mile from our house? Yeah, about that, actually. Yeah, yeah. see, oh, look, they've got the lights up there. You can see there. And then the little pink things. There's the thing. So, yeah, I don't quite know what's going on there. But, um, something exciting. We have another evening of in and out. Louis is doing something with drama at school tonight. So he's walked home from school, but we're gonna run him back in again in an hour and pick him up tonight. And for tea, I roasted a chicken last night, which was in the other Christmas vlog. And I forgot to say, Louis picked it up from work for a pound and it's gonna do two meals for us all. I'm gonna strip the chicken that's left on it and I'm going to make, oh, that car made me jump that came alongside you then. And I'm gonna strip the chicken down and I'm going to make a chicken spaghetti casserole for tea tonight. It's super, super easy. Have made it on video before, but it's like proper comfort food. So I'm just putting, I always keep a case here with all my pens, highlighters, rubbers, pencils, all that kind of thing in there. And my trip planners go there. Then that way, like now, if ever we go out, it's so quick and easy to grab and go. I've got everything I need with me. Do you send Christmas cards? We don't anymore. Um, I've got a few elderly re relatives, but I wanted to send one to a couple of special friends. And I've used the postcard from the kit that I made, the Countdown to Christmas. Trimmed it down, popped it on a six by six card, doodled around the edge and added a little bit of washi tape and I think that looks really nice. So I'm sending those. We stopped sending Christmas cards a few years ago and what we do now, you know a lot of people like donate to charities and things instead, we started doing that. We chose Crisis as our ch charity um, for the homeless and I can't remember how much it is. It works out for two, we do it for two and it works out I think just over 50 pounds and basically it's not just a Christmas meal it's a meal and it's like any time in December or something but you get a whole year's worth of care so you, included in that you get like haircuts you get dental checks you get like I think uh, mental health checks all kinds of things you get a lot of support within that it's not just a Christmas meal it's to really try and help people and we really like that it just makes you feel so so sad at the best of times seeing people on the street but even more so this time of year when everyone's talking about what they're buying what they're doing all their plans and then you see people when you're walking around the streets on ta in town and things and it's just so so sad so um that's something that we chose to do a few years ago and that's something that we always do now instead of sending cards to everybody i always like to think if i want to wish somebody a happy christmas i'll call them or drop them a text and i do that with birthdays more now as well i'd rather speak to somebody than send something in the post that will end up in the bin i've dropped louis at school it's absolutely pouring outside really really raining hard aid has been working on the boxes for me he's assembling them and sticking in the notes and i'm going to give myself some time and edit the next video my next hollywood video i have also this is a little tip I do to myself. It's a bit silly. 
I have written my to-do list for tomorrow. When I'm kit packing, I don't do like one of my great big extensive lists like this kind of thing with like times and all that because I just have a few bullet points of things I need to do because I will be spending the majority of the day kit packing. But I do have things like email, social media, replying to YouTube, and then I've got um, a few other bits and pieces. I've got to send a couple of order out, orders out and that kind of thing. But something I do is I write my list out the day before and I see if I can cross one or two things off that night. So almost getting ahead of myself for the following day. So I've actually packed an order already that will go out tomorrow and I can cross off um, prepping the video that I'm about to um, edit. I was going to do it tomorrow. But um, Aid's watching the football. I don't particularly want to work in the lounge while he's watching Liverpool. Not my idea of fun. So I'm going to spend an hour in here. And that means I've got two things crossed off my list tomorrow. So when I come down here and start tomorrow, it feels really, really nice. I feel like I'm ahead of myself already. Um, I know it's psychological, but it makes a difference to me. I said to Aid ages ago, pull me away from my desk. It's nine o'clock and I'm still here. But got all that ticked off tomorrow's list I have added a couple more things to tomorrow but I've done well I'm really hungry we haven't eaten Louis is still at school and picking him up in 15 minutes and I think we're going to get takeout I am officially though finishing work um, I think yesterday I did what did I do yesterday 14 14 and a half hours and I've done the same today did nip out to Starbucks for an hour um, but I class that as a lunch break and that's my day today. I look shattered, don't I? <laughs> but um, I'm gonna get takeout soon. I really fancy a chicken kebab. What's your favorite takeout? If you have to choose a takeout, what's your favorite? We're on our way to get Louie from school. I look so lovely in this hat. You feel a little You do. Um, I look like a little pig. <laughs> no, <you don't. laughs> I do. Um, we're having bets on Louis's reaction. We're going to tell him that we're getting takeout, which is a real treat because we don't do that very often. I reckon Louis's going to be really pleased. Aid. I reckon he's going to be pleased. But you reckon he's going to want to be dropped home first? Dropped home first to watch the football, and then ask us to go out again, which we're not doing. No. So let's see. My favourite chicken kebab. I just got a spot come up. Oh dear. Oh, yeah, I just come from. Your face. Mm. So. I look really little. Hello, little aid. <laughs> um, tell me, not you. Me. Our, no, not you. Our, oh. our vloggy friends. Who do you think won the bet? Oh, from what was said in the car. Yeah. Uh. It was aid. <laughs> <laughs> didn't think I was going to first of all. He was really excited. Yeah. And then it was a Oh but But, <laughs> <laughs> but we we didn't. We yeah. we came home with food, all of us. Yes. It was very yummy and we are gonna finish the night. We are watching first dates with a dime bar. Mm. And I will see you all in the morning. Good night. Night. Happy Wednesday to you. Hi, welcome back to another Vlogmas. It is Wednesday and it might be the 11th of December. I'm kit packing and I've just been doing all admin stuff this morning. Nothing interesting. Find a Christmas movie. I like to watch movies when I'm working as it's very monotonous what I'm doing. Just packing loads and loads and loads and loads of craft boxes. That's what my business is, Lollipop Box Club. I make monthly subscription craft boxes and I run that from home. Um, I do have a studio where I work from at the side of the house. But when I'm packing kits, I do it from the lounge because I have a bit more space to work in. And also because quite often my days are like 18 hour days, it means I'm still part of the family. I can speak to people, see to people, and I stick a movie on and I'm not just stuck in my studio on my own. So that's what I do. If anyone else works from home, oh, I think I've got Aid joining me. Aid works from home too. Um, sorry. No, you're fine. Um, let me know what you do. Um, I kind of feel like these vlogmases because I'm filming more kind of like home vlogs and all that kind of thing. Um, it's all like we're getting to know each other even better, which is really nice. Let me know what you do if you work from home as well. The vlog. What are your yeah. plans? I don't know. Oh. 
I was just about to make some toast. Oh yeah, sounds nice. With the Marmite peanut buttery Ooh. thing. Does that sound good? Marmite peanut butter then. Sounds very nice. They're having this really yummy Marmite and peanut butter spread, but we can never eat toast at the same time because I like my toast to be cold. And you like yours warm, don't you? Mm. I don't like soggy toast. I'm on to Netflix to find a Christmas movie and now I've just seen this, The Hole in the Ground. That looks more like my kind of movie. I always feel like I need to watch Christmas movies though. That looks a bit eerie. I think my Netflix account would go into shock if I put anything other than scary stuff Lunch on. time, I fixed us cheese and onion toasties. I've been really naughty and put cheese on the top as well. I love it when it goes really, really crispy. And I've got another one in to share a cheese, onion and pickle we're going to split that next one and we are going to watch the hole in the ground what did we just watch we've just watched christmas list you say mm. that was one of our staple yeah christmas ones and what's your favorite toasted sandwich filling is yours cheese and onion cheese and onion yes. it's gonna be hot Although, i think cheese and onion's my favorite as well i think cheese and onion it's nine o'clock and I've been packing kits all afternoon and evening. We haven't actually had dinner. Uh, we had, I have no idea what time we had those toasters, but they were this afternoon. But I've been stood here packing ever since, and I got all my internationals out today, so I'm really chuffed about that. And I'm really tired. It's nine o'clock. Aid's just making a cup of tea. And we, what are we gonna watch in bed? We, can we tend to take a cup of tea up to bed and watch something, don't we? You end up playing Woody. I've been a, that sounds really bad that I'm addicted to Woody when I'm in bed. I don't know what Woody is, just it's, in case they think it's something. It's a game on my phone, it's like Tetris, but they're blocks of wood. I've never played games on my phone before, and my sister's got me hooked on it, so it's all her fault. Um, I've got, been wearing this Grinch top all day, it's actually a Primark pyjama top from last year, and I've never worn it in bed. I wore it for a photo last year, and... I don't know where the bottoms are, I think one of the kids had them and I just saw this today and I thought I found it in the Christmas bag and washed it and I thought well, I'll wear that today. But yeah, taking tea to bed, I fancy something like Naked and Afraid, don't know, I fancy Naked and Afraid in bed. What? Yeah you fancy Naked and Afraid, anyone else like Naked and Afraid, that survival? program we've started watching it in the states a few years and we really love it um i am doing when's this vlog going up i don't know we're going to film a q a at the weekend so i've put a, a link on instagram about if there's anything you want to know disney craft or anything else i'm going to be doing a q a so if there is anything just leave a little question below but i'm going up to bed and i'll see you in the morning Good morning, it's Thursday the 12th of December, it's 9 o'clock, Ada's about to make coffee, um, I'm going to make a curry for later, I really fancy a curry for lunch. got loads of ingredients, um, people quite often ask me for a recipe but I don't always have a recipe, I just kind of make things up and this is going to be the case, I'm making it up, um, we haven't done so well with our eating the last couple of days and that always happens when I'm busy with kit packing, unless I get organised in the morning and stick something in the slow cooker we tend not to eat very well, so I'm being organised today. I've got onion, four cloves of garlic and coconut oil in the pan and to that I'm adding some curry powder. I've got cumin seeds, which I need to grind down in my, there. Uh, ground coriander, garlic um, bits, and ground turmeric. I've turned off the heat, and I'm just mixing all those spices in. I've probably done about a teaspoon or so of each, maybe slightly more of the curry powder. And I'm going to add some coconut milk to that. And I'm just gonna chop up a load of veg that I've got left over in the fridge. And I'm also just sprinkling in a few lentils, not too many. I find it's a really good way to use up stuff in the in the fridge. I've used up some celery, I've used up half a sweet potato, there was half an onion I originally started with, and what was left of the cauliflower. I'm gonna save the kale until later. The whole of the coconut milk has now gone in. I'm just gonna give that a good stir with the lentils. Right, I've just added about a quarter of a tin of chickpeas. I didn't want too many, so I've got those left, but I've drained them, and I do like roasted chickpeas with seasoning. They're really yummy just to pick on. And I've got half a tin of tomatoes that's just gone in. 
which I'm going to give a good stir to. I've added a little bit of water to that just because I want there to be some gravy and it is cooking down. I'm now going to finally chop some fresh ginger and I've got my curry here on the slow cooker stand. This is a really, really old slow cooker. My, we were just talking about it. My mum gave it to me before we were even together. So it's probably what, about 17, 15 years old, something like that. I don't know, or secondhand old. Um, she had it before but I, it's in a bit of a state there's only one handle left it's definitely seen better days but i always use it for my curries so i found a christmas movie to watch whilst kick packing it's a crappy christmas movie 12 men of christmas sounds like a good one holly is coming home today i'm so pleased literally though just for a cup of tea um but it's voting day so she's coming home to vote it's pouring with rain though it's really nasty age using the car we share a car between us because we both work from home and we don't need two cars so she's getting the bus and Aid's actually taking the car into work because he's got his work's Christmas lunch so I'm hoping Holly will actually come a little bit later so that he can give her a lift to the train station afterwards but I need to get back to kit packing a couple of hours later I've checked on the curry it's nice but the flavour isn't strong enough so all I've done I've added a couple of very full teaspoons of mango chutney, a little bit of salt, a sprinkle more of curry powder and my secret ingredient which isn't very Asian for an Asian curry, gravy granules. I've tried these for the first time, they're Lidl's own and I thought I would give them a go because they're so much cheaper than the Bisto and I've just checked and I don't know if you saw my video the other day when I was making Sunday lunch, there was actually milk in the gravy although they're um vegetarian they're not vegan but looking at these there isn't actually any dairy products in here so the little one is actually vegan but a sprinkle of this and the good thing by adding this if you want it to thicken up it's a really good way to thicken your curry i've checked it and the flavor is so much better it's really intensified it and it's thickened it up nicely i'll let you have a closer look so that's the curry now that looks so good um i have got fresh curry coriander to use but you don't have to add that um and i've also got some kale that i will add as well but it's such a good curry and the nice thing about this kind of thing you can change it to whatever you've got in your house so if you've got courgettes that need using up if you've got i don't know uh, broccoli that needs using up throw it in there if you don't like chickpeas if you don't like lentils you don't have to add them it's just kind of like the base is the spices with your onion and garlic and then adding the coconut milk whatever vegetables all that you want add in the little bit of the tomato and the ginger and then that's it and then just intensify the flavor as to you know to your own taste what a day it is half past six i have not achieved what i wanted to achieve today holly came home i uh, literally came home had some curry um we went and voted and then drove her back to the station bless her she came home from uni she took a train and a bus to get here in the rain um i really admire her for that so we voted earlier on i've been working i've had a headache i woke up with a headache and i've still got a headache it's driving me mad um taken louis back to school this evening for drama and we'll pick him up i oh, don't know half nine ish something like that tonight i am about to have this curry this is my third lot of curry in today i had some for brunch a little bit for lunch and now i've just done some rice as well i'm gonna have some for my tea and um, I think Aid and I are going to stick a movie on. He's labelling up boxes. I wanted, I got rid of all my internationals yesterday. I wanted to box up at least 100 today. I think I've done 40 and it's half past six. I really didn't want a late, late night. I'm so tired. I've just felt crap all day today. But I'm going to try and get maybe another 30 done tonight. That would be quite nice. Friday morning, just after five o'clock. And I'm packing kits and I'm watching the election results while it's packing. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I feel like we've been up for hours. We have. We have. I've just made myself hotel toast. I'm just letting it proper cool down before I add some butter. 
thought you were coming to say hello. And do you know, I've only opened three doors on my advent calendar. What's today? The 13th. 13th. And She's going to be in 6th then. But I've got, yeah, because it's every First, other. 3rd, 5th, 7th, I do 7th, have 9th, a problem with this advent calendar. 11th, 13th. I can't take anything out of it. Why? It doesn't come out. What Everything's stuck. I've got this bath fizzer. Oh, that's not coming out. I got a nail file. That's definitely not coming out. I did manage to get the lip gloss. What's the so right five? So oh, have I opened the doors wrong? Should I have opened number four? Oh yeah. So I've opened. I've what opened one, opened three. Five? I don't know because it was number two. You did number two, haven't you? Oh, have I opened number two? Yeah. Oh, so I've opened that one. So you... Oh, what was in that one? I don't know. Oh, the bath salts. Okay, so one, two, three. You should have opened four, because four... Oh, more bath salts. I don't know what they smell like. Do I get another one now? I mean, you've done five. Yeah, is that enough? So let's count these. I should open another one. Number one... Because that six would be right. the 12th. Number one was on... Six would be the 12th. Yeah. Another nail no, no, file. No, 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 six would be... Right, first... Today, I don't know. Third, fifth, seventh, ninth. I'm glad I didn't 11th, pay more than two pounds for six, this. Seventh was thirteenth. I think so I've you, ruined you it. You can have number seven as well. Oh, number seven as well. Ooh. Oh, no. What do you think? I know there's two nail files. Ah! That's going to break my nail. I'm going to. Oh, it opens at the bottom. I'm not very good with Adam calendars. I've decided. I'll just get the picture ones next year. Oh, hand cream. That's nice. I can't get it out though. I think I'm just going to have to just fly on my nails like that and I can't actually use anything and put a hole in that. I've got the bath salts out. It's lunchtime. My pile of boxes is slowly going down and I'm stopping for leftover curry and rice from last night. Hello, it's half past four and we're off to take a load of mail sacks down to the post office. We've still got loads more at home. Um, you're going to be taping up this evening, aren't you? Yeah. And I've got about 40 more boxes to do. I've done really well at saying that. I have actually been packing boxes now. When you look at the time, for about 12 hours today. Um, nearly 12 hours. I got up just after five, didn't I? Yeah. So, um, I've done quite well. Um, do you fancy watching a Christmas movie tonight? Yeah, I'd love to. What would you like to watch? I don't mind. <coughs> How Christmassy do we go? Do we want to do a Home Alone type? That's very Christmassy. I know, but you also think it is now, there's two weeks to go. Yeah. We always try and leave them and then we end up not seeing the ones we want to watch. Do you do that as well? You start off with the slightly non-Christmassy ones and work your way up. I did record Sleepless in Seattle on TV yesterday. Could do. Yeah. Idea. Let us know what your favourite all snow, time. I like. No, oh, we haven't watched Let It Snow no, yet. That's more of a daytime Christmas movie. Yeah. Yeah. I do quite like that one. Well. Yeah, I really wanted to watch Krampus. We've got to buy that one though, haven't uh, we? Sure got the one with yet, Tony so. and Colette. I love that one. I wouldn't mind watching something a bit darker actually, like that. Yeah. Mm. Let us know what your favourite Christmas movies are. Abe's making a gourmet dinner tonight. I'm still kit packing. I just Mickey. walked into the kitchen. What did Alexa ask you to do? Take chips out. Yeah, I walked in and it sounded like she said, reminder, touch yourself. No? No. <laughs> Take chips out. Sound like touch yourself to no. me. What are you making for din dins, babes? You're really horrible. You're doing this on purpose to make it look like I don't do it. I've, look what I've made this week. I know. Apart from the lovely was, curry, I've done, done, I've done really, some, I've failed. I've bought some chips with grilled onions. Why are the chips on the floor? They fell off the tray. Oh. We're having bratwurst, fries, onions and bread rolls. It's going to be amazing. It's a proper Friday night dinner. This is the start of it. Don't know. Right, this is dinner. I think that looks amazing. Uh, we are going to watch our Hollywood video whilst we have dinner. It's quarter past eight and I'm still packing boxes. I miscounted and I had 50 earlier on to do. I have now got 30. I think it's gonna be a late night, but I'm determined to get these finished and the rest of them shipped tomorrow morning. But thank you so much. I'm gonna finish this video now and get this week's load of videos uploaded 
to YouTube tomorrow. So this will go up Saturday evening. Really hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a very busy week and I've done over 70 hours now this week and it's still a working weekend. So I will probably end up doing, I don't know, 80, 85, something like that. I don't know. It's been a very busy week, my busiest week of the month, but it's been fun as well. I hope you've had a good week. Let me know anything good that's happened to you. But thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment and say hello. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow. I've got a Q&A coming. Lots of you, um, I did an Instagrammy thingy um, on stories and asking about questions for Aid and I and I will or should have that up for you tomorrow evening. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a lovely weekend and I'll see you very soon. Bye.